Hello and welcome to this week's Saturday evening cocktail. Happy uh, NFL playoffs. It's wild card weekend. So when we're talking uh, playoff football, uh, it's time to start talking about the GOAT. Not that kind of GOAT. And no, not that guy. And no, not that guy either. Not yet. I'm talking about the GOAT, the GOAT of all GOATs, the only guy to make me wear another team's colors. I'm talking about number 12, Tom Brady. So two cocktails um, to celebrate this weekend and to... Uh, Enjoy some football by, and we're starting with the red goat. So today, we have, let's call it dueling goat cocktails. We're starting with a red goat cocktail today. I'm going to start with this wonderful Santo uh, Blanco uh, tequila. We're going to use an ounce and a half. Of course, this is tequila with a little bit of mezcal. We've used it in a couple of other videos. It's uh, uh, Sammy Hagar's tequila. We're going to get back to that bottle. I'm going to also give some coconut rum to this drink. And we're going to do about an ounce of that. And the next thing we're going to use, we're going to sweeten it up some with some velvet falernum, about three-quarter ounce of that. That's roughly three quarters. And we're going to start to make it red and uh, give it another flavor profile with some Campari. And we're going to use about three-quarter of an ounce of that. And next, keep the red color going with a little bit of grenadine. Actually, a little more than a little bit of grenadine, about three-quarter ounce, a little bit more than typically used for a syrup in this drink, but it's going to give it some nice flavor, and it's uh, going to give us that color we're looking for. And finally, some pineapple juice. And we're going to need two ounces of that. Let's put that right in there. And just a bit of lime as well to break up uh, all the sweet that we've been putting in there. And I like to use roses for this particular drink. Again, nice clarity on the color and gives a decent balance of flavor. We are gonna shake it as we like to do. Get everything incorporated nicely. Pour it over ice as the first one. And Again, you know, it's fun that it's red, but let's face it, it should be blue. It is what it is. This is this is this is life in the in this world we're living in. Uh, but we're gonna make a drink, same idea, but maybe a blue goat for the way it used to be, the way it should have been. We're gonna come back to this wonderful tequila. So we're doing two tequila drinks, and a good ounce and a half. And you know, again, it's a little sweet. It's a little smoky. It's got some nice tequila bite, but. And if you can get a bottle of that, it's quite good. You can you can sip it. It's it's wonderful stuff. Got a little bit of uh, blended rum that I got to put in. That's a theme, sort of tequila and rum mixing together. And let's see, a little bit of maraschino liqueur. This stuff a little goes a long way. About half an ounce is going to be sufficient for this. And it's got to be blue. I haven't used this in a while. It's gotten pretty tight. There we go. Blue Curacao. An ounce. All right. The Curacao should be sweetening it enough, but we'll use a little bit of agave syrup, just a couple of squirts, and some grapefruit juice. If you take medicines that interact, again, discuss this with your doctor. I'm going to use that kind of almost in place of the lime juice. A slightly different spin. And we shake. And this one we're going to again pour over ice. Look at that. And this drink actually we lengthen out with a little bit of lemon lime soda. A little bit, a little bit of a different feel to it. So two drinks for the goat, the red goat. Blue goat, let's try them. Yeah, this is nice. It's almost a bit of a spicy tiki punch with that nice bit of that smoky tequila. And the blue. Mm. Definitely sweeter. Um, might, might even want to, if you like that sort of thing, a little more grapefruit juice or even a squirt of lemon on top of that might help as well. Um, but two good drinks. Two tasty drinks. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Be safe. Call the people you love. Wear your masks. 
Go Tom.